be my thing. Hello. Welcome to our Saturday night thrift haul where we take things that we found at the thrift store and tell you what we paid for and what we'll sell them for and if we're going to paint them, how we're going to paint them. We have a dresser down front that is not part of thrifting, but I'm going to show you because then I'm going to scooch it away so we can bring the camera closer and show you guys up close. Well, we bought it at Marketplace for $50. And if you haven't done so, make sure if you like videos like this that you hit subscribe and you give us a thumbs up. Helps us out a ton. So I found this video, this video, I am so tired. I found this dresser for 50 bucks on Facebook Marketplace and we picked it up today. It's Empire style and probably oak underneath but no one can tell because it's been painted a blue color that we found somewhere then we've got this yellowish shade then we've got this fun pink with some brown glaze over the top don't take hot pink and put brown glaze over it it's never a good combination we picked this up today and i was like oh my hey it's in better shape than the last dresser that i paid 50 dollars for right yeah, everything's in better shape than that one. Yeah, if you guys uh, <laughs> saw my post on Instagram and Facebook yesterday, I bought a dresser for 50 bucks, and I had a hole, a couple of holes in the side, and a broken drawer, and that video we actually completed, and we'll have that video will be up on Monday, so if you've been waiting to see what happened to the dresser that was totally broken, um, the video is already edited and will be up Monday. And I'll share pictures of that then. Hang on, guys. I'm going to be shaking you around all crazy as I move this dresser and hold the camera at the same time. Everybody's saying hello, hello, hello. Zeb and I are actually headed out to Vegas tomorrow right after church because we're going to be doing a, um, we're going to the Las Vegas market where they sell wholesale items and we're going to get some things for the shop. And we're also taking a little workcation that's why we're going anyways they're all workcations we don't have any cation that's not a workcation yeah it's my life so anyway that's why the dresser that we picked up this last week that you guys saw on my instagram and my facebook that had the holes in it that's why we already filmed it it's edited it's going up on monday while we're out of town so i you know i forgot my uh little thingy bobber that i put my phone on all right so we found we talked a little bit about these um maybe i didn't talk about it on camera so what but some we've of been stuff finding is, lots of glass that we like, but well, that one's not, gonna go upright. This is a vase, so this is why I got a tool this week. No, but no, maybe not on this one. This one's not going to, because that's gonna be like that. But some of the stuff, if you guys watched our video on Monday, is from that haul. But we didn't talk about how much it costs and how much um, we'll sell it for. So or what we're is, gonna do with it. Yeah, or what we're gonna do with it. So this is just blue seated glass. It was how much? It was three dollars. We'll just wash it, and that'll sell for like twelve ninety five in the shop. I just like it because it has a little bird on it. You know, I like birds. So we don't always go with seated glass. Sometimes it's overdone, and it doesn't really look old. It just looks like you can't see through it. Tanya R says she's going to the Vegas show too. If you see us, say hi. We're gonna be there. Um, our friend Mara from Vintage Retail Therapy is going, so we'll probably see her. And one of my best friends that you guys don't know, her name's Kelly. She will be there too, so I'm excited. So if you're going to the Vegas market and you see us, say hi. So I hear it's really big. I don't know what to expect. People, they ask me to tell them about it, but I actually have no idea because I've not really been. I'm assuming it's just a bunch of booths with stuff that we can buy wholesale. I want to find dough bowls. That's what I'm going for. So this here is obviously a vase, but it's got this fun taper on the top and it's almost domed enough. We can maybe fake it being a cloche. We'll see. But if not, I got a chuck for my lathe that will allow me to turn bowls and uh, some other cool things. And I think I'm going to make toppers for these out of wood that are all nice and decorative, kind of like a finial. Because we find these all the time and we're, uh, we always pass them up because you, too many bases is too many bases. Deb is a man with a plan. If you guys watched in Monday's video, we found um, at Brambles and Blossoms, they have these glass cloches with wooden tops and wooden bases. So Zeb's thinking also he could put a wooden top on here and then get a wooden base and then make it so you can pull it up from the top. Does that make sense? So that's why we have so many of these. So picture them the opposite direction with a finial top on it and a wooden base. Look at this one. These were all $1.50 by the way. And once we, if we were just selling them as is, as bases, they'd like probably $10, be, $10. yeah, right around 10 or 12. But once we get the topper on, we'll probably get closer to like 20, 25 because they're going to be cool. If they have a top and a base. So these ones will all get flipped upside down and the other one. I don't know about this green one. Flipping 
that knob. No, I think that one just needs a top. It just yeah. needs like a lid. We, I like green and blue glass, so. I'm gonna set the stuff on the table over here so I don't kick it all through the video. All right, and then this one, you know, I don't even know what this would be used for. Water, it's like, it's, it's super tall. It's almost as tall as my forearm. That was a Zeb pick, so it's two, I don't know It's what two it's bucks. Cool. I was thinking like some cotton coming out the top could be cool. Like this? Just like this, just billowing out. So two How about bucks. some of those like they're like they you know what they're like grass but they have those little soft things on the end of it. You know what I mean? No. I don't know what the word is. I don't know what this They is. like go like this and then there's a little round oval thing on the end and it's usually fuzzy. I don't know. They Cat find them in ponds, yeah. Cattails. Cattails. <laughs> See you read my mind. <laughs> It's been a long you just day. Had to, you just had to get the fuzzy part out. We, what did we do today? Oh, we, Zeb got the oil changed and then decided he might try to buy a car, which we didn't buy a car, but we still had to spend time at the car dealership. I hate, I hate buying cars. Like, with I, a passion, Zeb's always I like, tried to trade. What kind of exciting things can we get? I want to buy a brand new I tried to trade car. the Suburban in while I was getting an oil change on a new expedition, but it didn't, it didn't work out. They... The financing. The suburban's only two years old, so I was like, you know. The financing wasn't gonna wasn't gonna go. I'm not. I'm. And they it, was were, so, it was like ninety five hundred dollars off because it was a 2019, and they're clearing it out. It was like a coupon. <laughs> Zeb had to have the car coupon, and I was like sitting there, and you could tell that I was so, totally not amused. Zeb's like, you always look so pissed when we're buying cars. I'm like, I, I never, hate buying cars. I did not use that word. No, Zeb doesn't use that that's word. That's a potty word. That's what he meant. And I, I just don't like buying cars. I just like I'll just drive the car I have for the rest of my life. Okay. We We've got a dollar uh, butter dish. You know, we, we now that we're finding these and, and uh, we're looking for them, we find them all over the place. And we usually sell them for about eight, nine bucks, depending on size. This one's on the smaller end. No, they don't. I think they sell for twelve ninety five. Oh, $12.95 for this. Yeah. yeah. So it's got two pieces. Yeah. Absolutely. And um, a lot of people say that they don't like to buy a car. Yeah, it's not necessarily. They'd rather have a root canal. It's not necessarily. It's not fun. Like, why can't you just go thing? in and say, this is my situation. Um, that is the car that I'd like to buy. This is the terms that I'm interested in. And they'll be like, yeah, we can't, or no, we can't. No, yeah, we can't. That's two can'ts. Yeah, we can't, or no, we can't. That's what it is. Anyways. Little dollar jar. Way. We were hoping to find 20 of these, but we only found one. Yeah, it's like six ninety five. We were going to put them in that tote that I made, but only one. Only we'll one. find Maybe more. we'll find more. I'll just keep hoarding them. I'll stick them in the dead body closet till I find more. So this was a buck by itself maybe five or six bucks it's not super fancy but it's just a fun shape and it's got like a little ring around the top that adds a little extra and they hound you by the phone for weeks let me tell you about that so afterwards we went to the state cheer competition which by the way lehigh varsity cheer is now state champions Woo! Odelia is on jv and they got second place and we're super excited they're over the moon in fact our son Harrington, who is probably bored out of his mind, is like, but I'm going to go celebrate with the cheerleaders tonight. So that's where he's at. But anyways, while we're at this cheer competition, Deb's getting texts and videos of different cars. We're like, look, we're not going to trade in our 2017 for 2018 for twice the payment. It's just not going to happen. Yeah. Anyways, moving on. All right. This is fun. This is a fun one. We, had a, we were in the line at the Deseret Industries at the DI, and we were checking out, and... This, this lady ran over and she's like, I watch you guys on YouTube and I know you collect these enamel plates and you have some of these. So here, take these and get these for yourself. She, I think and, she then she, like, and then she, she hurried back off. away and we didn't, we didn't get her name or anything. So if you're watching, thank you. These are awesome and we appreciate it. Thank you, Sally Von Zwoll, for that super chat. We'll put that in our Vegas fund because we're leaving tomorrow. So we'll get something fun and we'll tell you about it next week. Yeah, so these were each 75 cents. She was so cute when we were like checking out and she's like, I know you guys like these. I watch your channel. And she just like dropped them off and left. And I think she was going to buy them for herself, but she let us have them. Yeah, she and I thought them that was so out. nice. So they, they're 75 cents a piece and we'll sell them for $3.95 a piece. Yeah, they're enamel wear and they're in good shape. They don't yeah. have any chips or rust or anything. I think they're like really cute. On. I think it'd be fun to have a whole set of this blue enamel wear and white well, it enamel wear. It looks really good with the white stoneware and the, and the grayish well, look, stoneware stuff. I also found this for a uh, dollar. See, this is stoneware, just a little baby. It will probably sell for like three or four ninety five. So, John says buying a house or a car is a full time job. Tell me about it. We just bought the farmhouse this summer. Luckily, 
we literally only went and saw one house when we bought the farmhouse, so we didn't have to go see a bunch of houses. But getting it financed, when you're self-employed, that's another story. All right, guys, I've got some Pyrex for the Pyrex oh, yeah, lovers. Yeah. Little Pyrex offering. This was, they were marked $2, and she rang them up as a dollar each. I'm not sure why she did that. <gasps> Linda, super chat, thank you. Thanks, Linda. Um, this one has a design on it. I like the one with the design. I don't. This one does you. not. They've got like this faux stoneware kind of finish on them. And I feel like we could stencil it. And this one maybe has a little bit of grease left over from the last owner. I don't know what they're worth. So probably nine ninety five because it's Pyrex. But I picked them up because I've never seen this style ever before. Like I've seen a lot of different colors, it. but this I've not is... seen like this. So this is Pyrex's um, answer to the blue and cream that False Graph came out with, I believe. Oh, I don't um, know that they won. No, but but I grabbed it because I hadn't it. seen it, and it was a dollar, <laughs> and we'll probably sell it for like six ninety five and nine ninety five. I don't Delia, know. I got two pieces, so. Odelia is texting me. She wants the photos I took. She's like, "No, I'm working, man." <laughs> Odelia was super excited. She's bouncing off the walls texting me about winning state. So, all right. So, uh, this is from Jack's Farm, made in England. Not old because it's microwave and dishwasher safe. I have no idea if it's worth anything, but Ivy picked it and I can't remember how much she paid. Maybe a dollar. And it's cute. It's got cows on it. Can't beat the little cow and the sheep situation happening there. I think that's a sheep in the middle, isn't mm -hmm. it? So, $9.95. Kai says Odelia is our princess. She is quite the little princess, but she's she, a sweetheart. She's so sweet. She's like the <laughs> nicest person you'll ever meet. I hope she never loses that. <laughs> yeah, she's a darling little girl. All right, and I say little because if you see the picture I shared on the January Vintage group, my son her, is like 6'2", and Odelia is like two inches shorter than me, so there's even more of a size difference than... Zeb and I. Anyways, so Ivy picked these two. I don't know how much I have the price on the bottom. They already got washed, so the stickers are gone. So this is... From uh, Italy? <gasps> Another Mancioli super chat! Italy. Italy. I'm, Thanks, I Linda. hope I'm saying that right. It's from Italy. It was probably hand-painted and glazed. Deb says this cute bowl is from the 80s. All good things come from the 80s, like Zeb and I. <laughs> oh, oh Carts and Mille super chat. She said, buy something cool in Vegas to show me. So I don't gamble because we don't gamble, but like if you go to pick, we, we, they do auctions in Vegas. Is auctions, is that kind of like gambling? I don't know. We're going to spend one day at market and then if we feel like we've done it enough, then the next day we're going to go picking and then head back up the hill. Because it's like a six hour drive to Vegas, five and a half hours. Six to where we're six. going. It's six down to the strip and we're, we're staying, staying at the Mandalay yeah. Bay. I got a suite. It's just, it's hopefully they're as non-smoking as they say they are. Yeah, they said they're non-smoking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody says congratulations, Odelia. And Carolyn says, I'm wanting to come see your shop this summer. Is there a certain day and time to visit when you'll be there? If you come on Wednesdays, here's a little secret, but don't y'all come at the same time or it might get crazy. We go live usually in the shop on Wednesday from 10 to 11. So if you get here right when we open, we're generally here because we've just got done being live. In fact, I've seen people waiting in their cars out there and then they're they, probably watching the video. Yeah, watching the video because they come in and talk to us about it and then they come in and meet us and that's always fun. So I was, we always plan to be here another half hour, an hour. All right, this was $2 and it looks like it's plaster. It's a painted up ball like it's plaster, but this thing is cast iron. It's cast iron. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. It's an anti-theft device. If somebody comes to your house to steal stuff, you just beat them with it. Like the, it's like the cast iron pig we had a while back. It's good for whacking. Simone says, yeah, Vegas baby, congrats Odelia. And Les says, I could be Jamie's grandmother. Hey, you know what? You could probably just be my mom because my mom is 80. Right? 80? Yeah. So that, that, that opens up a huge umbrella of people. There you go. So if you're not over 80, you could just be my mom because that's how old she is. How about right. going to the Pawn Star stores? I've already been there. I wasn't impressed. You know, we went there. <laughs> their store is maybe as big as our store. Oh, probably smaller. Like as far no, as what they have go displayed, back. I guess. I don't know. It's not very big. We went there once. It was cool go. to be there and be like, oh, hey, this is where they film the TV show. But the stuff is expensive. Don says, are we taking a U-Haul? No, but I'm taking the truck. So it, it, it could you, pull a U-Haul. You know what? We're always 
on the lookout. So if we find stuff, it's like 60 bucks to rent a U-Haul enclosed trailer and take it back up to Salt Lake. So, you know, we'll fill that thing up if we find some sweet stuff. Melanie Mel says their savers looks huge. We'll have to try it out. Buy a vintage slot machine. <laughs> All right, moving on. Look at this cool, um, it's a copper uh, pan, I guess. Is that what you call it? Looks like something you cook on the stove. It was $15 which is kind of a lot for a pan, but when it's copper, they are usually rather expensive. This one is made in Korea. I don't know the value of it, but I'll probably sell it for like 25 ish dollars, which isn't a huge increase, maybe 30. I believe it's it's usable though. Like it's yeah, in it's usable condition. So maybe 30. Yeah, so you could you could cook with this or use it as like a warmer or whatever you wanted to do. Les wants to know if she could be our mom. Cool, you? If you can fight off my mom, my mom. If, you, if you, and his mom's big. My mom's little. She's like Odelia size. She might weigh 115 pounds soaking wet, maybe. And his mom's like, she used to be, was she 5'10"? She's 5'10". She, she might... used to be six foot? No. She's like 5'10". I guess she's not that big. Because to me, she seems tall because I'm like the tall person in my family. And I'm 5'4 and a half. It so. took me uh, uh, 14 years of my life to get taller than my mother and I wasn't short at 14. I was almost as tall as I am now. So Harry was taller than me. It was a it was like a monumental achievement to get tall to be taller than my mom. <laughs> Doesn't take much to be taller than me. I think Odelia is the only one that's gonna be shorter. Alright. And Cart Sumili did more super chat, a little something for Odelia. We'll stick that in her sweatshirt fund. It was like highway robbery. Those sweatshirts were like forty dollars plus shipping at state. And then Floss the Destroyer bought himself a shout out. Hi guys, please say hello to my fiance Anne in Glen Applin, Australia. She loves you guys and you have inspired her to restore furniture. Heck yes, and Floss the Destroyer, that's like the best name ever. I like your YouTube name. <laughs> and Heidi's, oh, that's who bought it. Heidi came by the shop today and she said, Emma and I had to have that cute I love you window that you guys disagree with where to put the little black dress. It's now on my wall by the entry. I am so glad that you bought that. I saw that it sold today because I have my square app and I was I'm excited, I gotta go home. All right, okay. we're going back. Two dollars. I'll to keep the... I'll keep you on track, don't you worry. I get distracted. These are like all my friends here chatting to me. And I don't only get to see them once a week. So twice a week. If you time in on Wednesdays. Oh yeah, but once a week for the haul. All right, so two dollars. It's got some chips and dings and we'll sand those smooth and maybe possibly even paint it, or we might use some hemp oil on it. Um, I was going to paint it because it has a chip. Yep. A few chips. So we'll sand it. And I was thinking a springy color because it's a flower. Yeah. So I always paint them like some sort of green springish color. Or even like French millinery would be pretty, like a purple. But for two bucks, I mean, it's hard yeah. to pass up on like a nice wood bowl. For so $2. that's probably like twelve ninety five ish yeah. We'll see how long it takes to paint. Renee says mom's wearing her sweatshirt. She must be cold. Not too shabby. Patty says I'm one of seven and she's and the short one is 5'8". So you must come from a tall family too. The short one's 5'8 in Zeb's family too. Isn't Barb 5'8"? Yep. My, my sister Barbara is the shorty at 5'8". <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, Lisa says I love that bowl. And then Jamie says I'm so worried about pricing thrifted items higher than they are new. So... I what you're don't doing with price it. them higher than they are new unless they've been like painted and refurbished because then they're handmade. But some things are worth more because you can't get them anywhere else. Yeah, and sometimes like, so let's say you find something thrifted that's actually legitimately old and awesome. We'll show you these in a minute. Yeah, those um, are worth more. You know, you price you them got, for what the value is. you got to own it. I'll tell you a little secret here. While Zeb's picking, do you want to tell them about the item and I'll tell them about the secret? I'll tell them about really this secret. really quick. So this is just a wooden cutting board slash serving tray, bamboo. Not particularly special. These are a dime a dozen down at the Ikea. But it's got kind of sharp edges. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a little farmhouse flair and I'm going to round all these edges off. I might even use my cool grinder attachment with the uh, wood carving tool on it. But I'm going to round these off and then sand them smooth and that'll take some of the sharpness away and it'll look less like a uh, bamboo serving tray that's ready for some sushi. It'll look and like awesomeness. More like a farmhouse uh, display for like your apple slices or something. Well, I think it'd be really cute to paint it in sweet pickens, like in a grayish color mm -hmm. and then do some 
cream stenciling and then use the hemp oil so it's food safe it would be totally yeah. farmhouse but food safe and i think it would be awesome and that i you know that would probably sell for about 20 bucks once it's painted and stenciled maybe even a little bit more but starting off at 20 bucks that's the cool thing about the uh, the farmhouse finishes and the sweet pickens milk paint and the hemp oil being bio certified to be food safe because now we can just like we're confident like if a piece of paint flakes off oh well, well it's gonna be all okay. right They'll be okay. They said you could put hardware on each side too. Little hooks. Oh yeah, a little serving tray. Little tray. Chartreuserie board. Those are popular. All right. So here's the thing. You guys remember I bought those giant, uh, man, not giant, but large mannequins, the vintage ones. I paid a hundred for one and hundred and fifty for another, and I priced them each at three hundred and twenty-five dollars. And I kind of in my mind was like three hundred and twenty-five dollars is a lot, but I know that that's what they sell for at stores across the U.S. Even though people are a little bit apprehensive to spend money here and today i sold one for 325 dollars so i felt like i was validated because somebody wanted to spend that because you can't find them well anywhere. on stuff like that not everybody that comes in to do your shop is going to spring for something like that but it does look cool and helps everything else kind of give you the vibe you're looking for and then someone will eventually come along and uh they're gonna be like oh yeah i've been looking for one of those for six months and buy it so they bought darling that's who sold today so Darlene's my mom's name. Bye, All mom. Right. So, All right, this was the steal of the day. This was $3. I found it out in the yard at the thrift store. And it's like a bird cage situation thing going. I don't think birds have ever lived in it because it looks like it never got finished. But it's got like this wood filler that gives it like almost like a lime washed effect. And there is something greasy on here, but we'll, we'll get that off. Um, By but, we, I mean Gene, if you're watching when you get in. But it day. opens up. And then you've got all these fun little shelves here, and it's got this hardware cloth, and the top comes off, and there's like a separate little situation up there. And it's just, it's just cool. Jessica Abercadabra refurbished says her mother's name was Darlene too. Yep, that's my mom's name, Darlene Rose. My daughter Odelia is Odelia Rose. We after her. Yeah, that's awesome. And this will not sell for any less than probably 35 or 40 dollars because it's really tall and we're not going to really do anything with it we'll leave it this wood yeah, color like to bring it. some warm tone into the shop and just give it a good scrub because like there's sticky up here and greasy down here and we'll figure out what that is and get that off <sighs> hey no yawning i'm not yawning um jerry i don't I, we should be at the shop the week of valentine's day but i can't guarantee it i never want to promise we'll be here at any time because you just never know with kids and business and filming but we're not planning we're not going anywhere valentine's week i think that's the week of divisionals um yeah harrington has no uh, no no, no state. State. Harrington has state, son has the state wrestling championship that week i so mean he's got to make it through time. divisionals um next weekend but we're pretty we're pretty sure he will. i don't i don't want to say that i don't want to jinx it but we're pretty sure he's gonna he'll make it through this all right i'm gonna bring the camera closer and fix the crazy angle and then we'll show you this cool stuff tell them about your finds under the glass so the copper pot was under the glass and collectibles and then these items were all bagged up for eight dollars for the whole lot of them so there's this little silver um vase that i think is really pretty i've not seen this kind of designed before decorative on the bottom um so it was eight bucks for all of the things i'm going to show you so that'll probably sell for like 6.95 this thing is heavy i don't know what it is it's weighted on the bottom oh it's weighted so that's another 6.95 and then these are pewter and i'm always always looking for like pewter and silver salt and pepper shakers because look at how cute these are i feel like they're very european looking but they say what do they say on the bottom quaker so yeah. maybe they're not your well, genuine pewter our, by quaker our quaker is that from the u.s i don't know this is the little um this is number 203 and this is a little platter that goes with them isn't that so cute so i'll probably sell the whole set for 16.95 for all three pieces and then 6.95 each for those two little silver vases so for an initial eight dollar investment i think it's pretty good and they're so cute oh it's avon well even better i love me some avon Quaker started on the East Coast. There you go. I just I just know that they do oats. They do. Probably Quaker, probably Quaker separate girl. probably separate company. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Jamie found this little John I Deere tractor in the toy section. I was aware for the front part of it, and I couldn't find it. I don't know if it's actually old, but I thought it was cool. I don't know that it's old. It's got plastic wheels, but it's not new, and it'll it'll it's got its own little aesthetic. And Wouldn't John Deere so stuff, with, people like, love it. Yeah, some cute little mini flowers in the back of it. I just thought it was cute for spring. How much was it? Like seventy-five cents. Yeah, 
a dollar. A dollar. Like so it'll probably sell for like three ninety five. It'll look cute in a vignette. So this little Pyrex bowl was seventy five cents, and we use this for Jack's cereal. We keep these around at our own place because you know it's, it's not. It's Pyrex. It's not in perfect condition. I don't think. Uh, well, actually, Kevra's, it's in pretty good condition compared to his other one, but that is the perfect. scratches. That is the perfect size of Jack cereal bowl. If I give him a big bowl and I just put a little bit of cereal in it, he's always like. I'm not a baby, I can have a whole bowl of cereal. So if I give him a little bowl and I fill it up, he's like, yeah. So I buy those, I only have one at home, so now we have two. We got a lot of stuff to get through still. We better hustle up and get to painting All right. something. Did you get a lid for the Pyrex dish? That one didn't come with it, but we don't really need the one because like I said, Jack cereal bowl. All right, I got these a dollar each, little mini silver trays, perfect for like jewelry next to your sink. These will be like little, we have a lot of 395 items. These all be like 395 in the shop. We sell a ton of things at that price point. Like people will come in to buy paint and they'll buy a couple of little extra littles. Like there's smalls and there's littles. These are like little littles. And you know what? It all adds up and it fills all the small space. So I love those actually. They're super cute. They're talking about uh, silver cleaner. I actually don't. Yeah, you could totally get those silver, clean, but, but we we like the tarnish. That's what sells in our shop. So has anyone ever uh, come into the store and said, "Hey, I donated something just like that to the DI, only it was a different color." Sometimes it happens. I, I don't think I've ever heard of anybody do that. Usually, they won't recognize their piece. Oh, I don't think they've read. They've not like, come to the store. Yeah, like, like they actually thought it was theirs. Now. Yeah. But, you know, or we'll, what we do get a lot is someone will come by and be like, I saw that at the thrift store and I should have got it. <laughs> and I'm like, and now it's here. Most of the things we pick up are things they can't find easily, so they'll buy them. So we got another fun wood tray. This one was $1.50. It's got this ding up in the Frida top. Frida says that's mama magic. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's it. Somebody took a bite out of this tray. But we'll sand that smooth and I think we'll just oil it. Because I'll, I'll shape it and it'll you know, just look like a knot fell yeah, out of no, it. Yeah, no, I something. think the wood grain is really beautiful on that. We're looking to bring some more wood tones in. Yeah, it's 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 the right color. It's brownish, not not yellow. Apparently, this is a liquor bottle. Yeah, the, the on, blue one, it's cool. Established 1820, but it's like etched. And I love the, by appointment to Her Majesty the Queen. Oh, it's scotch. Yeah. But it has this label up top that we didn't we didn't hate. So we're going to uh, clean that up and the color is right. It was a dollar. We'll put something in the top of it, hanging out and, uh, you know, Sell for cat like tails, maybe. Um, AR said, you guys are superstars. I found a place here in New England that sells the DIY paint and she's actually met us. Yeah, oh, we've been, fun. we were in, we've been to Delaware. We've been to Nashville. So we do a little bit of traveling with DIY sometimes. Yeah, this was $1.50. It's got a little chip right over here. We sand that with 220 grit and that smooths that chip out and makes it less noticeable and no worries. It also helps keep it from chipping more if something catches on it. But nice little handle. It's got fun feet and this would be great. I, I was thinking like you could put like extra rolls of toilet paper or something like that in the bathroom. Or flowers. Or flowers. I just but you never cool. know when you're gonna need that extra roll. Don Gilroy, I can't even Gilroy. Um, dark and decrepit to cure completely takes 30 days, but it sounds like you might have an issue with something else. So message me on Facebook, PM me, and I'll ask you some more questions. Get some pictures. I'll see if I can help you out. All right. So this it was is porcelain. Sorry, somebody oh, wanted that was porcelain. It is porcelain. So Jamie and I both had buys where we got home and we we're like, oh, that's more broken than I thought it was. This little clock was $4 and I was like, oh, I like the gold undertone of it. 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 The whole top piece has been cracked off and someone glued it. Aww. Once we paint it, I'll probably, I was maybe yeah. not going to paint it, but now I'm going to paint it because you oh, can it's see painted. it's cracked right there. But just fun. It's got a little finial topper on it. Yeah, Caitlin. It's battery operated. PM it's me old. on the Jamie Ray Vintage page, not my personal page, because it goes to my personal Facebook. I probably will never see it. Yeah. All right. So that is uh, just a fun little clock and shelf sitter. We'll probably paint this. I'd imagine, you know, tarnished pearl would probably look good with that gold. They said that it was through. put back on crooked too. Are you gonna have to rebreak it? Um, no. I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to... The gonna... clock is crooked inside, but the clock is independent. Can't you Yeah, that? the clock piece is independent in there, so I'll just get that out and fix it. It's not a huge deal. I remember when you bought it, I was like, don't buy that. 
But you know, if, if you get the eye twitches, look away. All right, let's move on here. We got a lot of first hauling to do. Okay, uh, well, we've been doing a lot of chatting tonight. Oh, yeah. We've got a lot of catching up to do. It's been a whole week since we saw people. $2, tiered tray, spray painted gold by somebody else. We'll paint it and sell it for like $14.95. I think it's really cute. Yeah, it's got this like a scalloped edge around the lip of it there. Isn't that cute? Cute, cute, cute. No, you can see it on the bottom. Okay, basket. Who doesn't need a bunch of baskets? Uh, this looks like a great basket for the laundry room for all like the socks that don't match. If you don't have a big family, our family has an entire- I was gonna say, entire... have you seen our, la our, la our sock la hamper is like this tall it's, it's and this the, wide. It's the dead sock hamper and it's like the biggest hamper in the house. And literally you go through there looking for a matched sock and we you like can't it. find one. <laughs> Every now and then it's literally, it's like this big around and this tall. It's because we just throw all of our laundry in there and it all gets mixed together. And then when socks come out, we can't find a match. So we just throw it in there and throw it in there. So literally every morning when the kids are getting dressed, they like dig through the socks to find a matching pair or they just wear two that fit their feet. They don't care if they match. All right. So we've got some more of these. This was originally $33. We got it for three. It's kind of got a bluish tint to it. And then it's got these little indents in here. I imagine it was so something, a shelf or something could sit down inside. I don't know what it originally came with. I don't know. But I'm going to make toppers it. for that. It wasn't a Jamie buy. And then this one as well. This was also $3. There's a little bit of a size discrepancy for their pricing. But I'll take it. It's got like a greenish hue on the bottom. Once I make these toppers, they're going to be as cool as the cutting boards. You guys are going to be like, oh. And I order that, and I'll probably be like, eh, it's glass. I don't want to ship it. No, we ship all kinds of stuff. We shipped the giant artichoke today. I was supposed to ship it all week, and it took me till today to get it done. It took two of us holding it and flipping it around to wrap it all up in bubble wrap. Luckily, the lady that bought it said she didn't need till next till springtime, so it'll get there before then. All right. So people keep saying they're patiently waiting for the quilt. This quilt oh. was not actually a thrift store find. This is Jamie decided she doesn't need as many quilts as she has. I have a bunch of like quilts like this that I love that are all tattered. I pay 20 ish dollars for this one, maybe 25. I'll sell it for 60 in the shop, but I realize I need more textiles in the shop and I love tattered handmade quilts like this. They're my absolute favorite. So this one's just gonna get put in the shop and put for sale. But I do that. I like rotate things out of my house into the shop. So it's really like, I don't feel bad when I buy something because when I'm done with it, I can usually sell it for more than I paid. Yeah. Well, um, and then it's just it's just inventory storage. Yeah, I'm not, it's not like I'm buying stuff for the house. I'm just buying stuff for inventory. That's what it is. All right, so the little basket was two. This little bigger basket was three. And then the even bigger, bigger basket was three. And we have kind of a plan for these. We don't know how successful it will be. We're thinking of painting them like a brownish color. And then doing the whitewash like Jamie did with, no. was it the tarp pearl I was going to spray them with milk paint. Oh, spray them with milk paint. Spray paint them okay. like we did that scalloped edge for the coffee table we just did. And so you had another good. idea that you haven't cleared me with me yet. Well, I thought I told you. That's okay. I haven't cleared it with you. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. <laughs> Oh, so oh. these baskets, we got them because, you know, they're perfect to hold stuff like these quilts at the end of your couch. Are cold you, in here. It's not cold in here. All right, it's not that cold. Like the end of your couch or, or extra pillows or seasonal stuff, you know, the, the baskets are perfect size for that. Oh, we haven't showed them this, the giant pot in the room. The giant chamber pot. That's kind of what it looks like. Um, it's the right color and a was, cool shape. It was five dollars, and I want to put a transfer on it. I haven't decided which one. We like might do that one. in the video tonight. Yeah. So, anyways, it was five bucks with a transfer. I'll just use a portion of transfer. I'll probably tell for like twenty. It's huge. It looks. It's kind of like a crock. So, just in really case big. we don't get to this, we get asked all the time when we put transfers on, like mirrors or windows or or glass items. This is not see-through, so we could probably seal it and no big deal, but we probably won't because we don't anticipate someone needing to like scrub this down with a Brillo pad. I'm just going to put it on there and... Uh, they said you know, it looks like it gets, a planter. Yeah, it might be, but there's no... It, I mean, there's no dirt residue. It's more like a crock, the yeah. material on it. But if it gets dirty and it's got a transfer on there, just wipe it off. Just do the dusting. Don't don't, don't put like it where it's gonna get it like Caitlin spaghetti says sauce she needs a it. blanket basket. Well, we know where you can buy one. All right, pass me the lamp, please. All right. So we this really, lamp, we're almost done. 
Yeah, we're almost through the hall, and then we're we gonna start painting. We have three things over here in the corner. So this lamp has this funky, weird shade. You guys can't even see that. Look at that. It's like a double. I don't even know what's going on with that. It's got a clip that, that it clips down into. That lamp has an undershirt. But we are possibly gonna skeleton shade this. No, didn't we want to do like a texture on it? Because we saw those cool lamps at Brambles and Blossoms. We gotta figure out a way to do like a grainy texture. This is metal. You are correct. Well, I was thinking it was wood or porcelain, and then I grabbed it. I'm like, oh, metal. Well, is that again? Well, they can't. They can't tell unless I bang it. Brina says Kaylin just sent an email to Lehigh Shop. Yeah, that's how you do it. If you want something you see in the yeah. video, send if an email to Lehigh Shop. If you want anything from here, you email Lehigh Shop at jamierayvintage.com. All right, let me slide this across here. You can see our live background. This was cool find too. What was that? Six dollars. It's Ethan Allen, and it has a drawer. And it sits on top of a dresser. Makes any dresser an instant vanity. And I will paint it all up and probably sell it for 30 bucks. Oh, super chat from Brittany Brown. Thank you. Thanks for just being you, life goals. No, stop it. Rachel's <laughs> laughing because I said the shade has an undershirt. That's what it looks like to me. It's wearing an undershirt. All right. And then we have one more jar. Wait for it. Anderson & Co. Original Glass Makers, established 1925. Not actually old. Um, purchased it for one dollar and it'll probably sell for like five or six in the shop and here's the thing a lot of this stuff isn't super super old we could buy it wholesale and we would still sell it for the same prices the difference is when you buy things at the thrift store your profit margin is bigger and we can go to the thrift store at least here and we can fill up a whole cart in the matter of under an hour so i feel like that's a good investment for what we make and we usually get out of there for under 100 bucks even if we buy a dresser or something yeah so that's how we do a lot of thrifting i am going to do some wholesale shopping that's how we're going to vegas this weekend well, we're um, going to try it out market, we're going to see what they have we need to see what they have i want to check quality i hate fake farmhouse so I'm really particular, like if it's too gift shoppy or Hobby Lobby-ish. So what we might be I'm looking for is like textile things like, uh, um, like pillows. cloths and pillows and things like that, that we can Table maybe cloths. even like stamp or something or, or change. And I'm looking for European dough bowls. That oh. is on my top of my list. That's really why I'm going. The big deep ones. So Zeb, I, can you give me the Affirma transfer so we can do that on this one? While he's doing that, I'm going to show you a few more things. We got this giant frame. For two dollars, and then I don't remember what we paid for these other ones because they got painted today. And what you just picture this being gold, but this got painted today, and Lauren needed something to paint. I think this was like eight or ten dollars. These ones usually sell for around thirty. I'm just gonna wet distresses so the gold comes back through, and it'll be like this. It's painted white swan, and then. You know me, I love anything that looks like a ceiling tile. I think this was like 10 or 15. How much was this? Um, that one? Or no, six. she gave it to us for $3. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Because it didn't it, have a price tag. Priced. It should have been 10 or 15. That's what it would normally be priced. But she's like, how about $3? I'm like, <laughs> yes. Anyways, it's green underneath this, like olive green, not really super pretty. And Lauren suggested we paint it today in a yellow color. And I thought, perfect. So this is cake batter. We'll wet distress it so that way the um, green comes through. And I think it'll be really pretty. So maybe I'll do that. Sorry, am I taking you out for this? No. Did you get me the Affirma transfer? Um, no, but you wanted me to do that one on this one, right? No, I want to use the Affirma one if we have a cool piece left because it's bigger. This yeah. is classic pots. And I feel like this is good for medium-sized jars, but I wanted to transfer just a little bit bigger for do that we need to, Do we have a medium-sized jar? We don't. It's pronounced Affirma. Yeah, you're missing a letter in there. Ephemera. Ephemera? It's all right. It, you know, the IOD sisters have to name things I can't say. They're going all Latin. They got to get all fancy on me. But Madison says, wow, I usually don't like those ceiling tin mirrors, but I'm loving that yellow. Okay, ephemera, only one R. I'm my father's daughter. I say different things. Kayla's trying to correct me. Let's see. The oval frame needs to be a blackboard with a transfer. That would be a good one. Um, speaking of life goals, Wendy wants a farmhouse vintage shop like ours. It's very fun. I call it my jobby because it's my job and my hobby. So it's, it's good and maybe one day it'll be like my sole supporter. Um, let's see. 
Just seeing if there's any questions that I've missed. Um, I don't, I don't think so. That one is that you're wanting. Oh, it's hanging up. It's in the back. Look at the back on the bottom. Um, somebody asked me about skeleton shade lamps. How much do I sell them for? So the big ones, I think that those sell for 60, like $59.95 for the big tall ones that I pay like 15 bucks for normally. And then I have a pair of skeleton lamps out on a buffet. Those will sell for 60 bucks for the pair. And I always put an Edison bulb, which I pick up at Ikea because that's the least expensive place. And they sell pretty well. All right, so I think we've got all the questions. I don't see the transfer you're wanting. Jen says jobby, and she likes it. All right, how about you come back over here, and I'll go over there and look. All right. Let That's right there. What's that one called? The one in your hand. Oh. What is that one called, Seth? It's, it's the ephemera. It, see, I would say it ephemera. Ephemera, but there's only one R in it, Caitlin says. Yeah. Ephemera. It's at the end. Oh. Whatever. Here it is. <laughs> this is the church we've been talking about. This is, oh, I think that there's only this piece left. That's my yeah, name. it says market on it. All right. I'm going to go get another one. A new one? Because that's all that I see. Which one did you want it to say? I want... Hold on. Let me look at the picture. I want one of these. Oh, these are all... They're all kind of overlappy, huh? Yeah. But we could take that one off. Can we just put market on it? I think that would be awesome on this. We want to... Market? It's kind of big. Yeah, it's going to wrap around. I think that it would be too big. I'll just hold it. Yeah. People could not read the whole word. They'd have to spin it. That's too big. Can you give me another one of these? And right. I'm going to use this portion up here. Sorry, guys. Sometimes the creative process is not super organized. Okay, I'm going to go grab one. All right, Kaylin, would you take one of these out of stock if you're still watching, if you're still with us? All right. All right. I can never get these back in the hold. There. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm going to do some weather stressing while Zeb's going back in our stock room. This is our shop, but it's also our warehouse fulfillment for our website, so we have back stock in here. Shelly says it's too big, and Caitlin says, yes, I will. Thank you, Caitlin. Caitlin keeps me in line. We'll see if I can get this going here. So the thing about DIY paint, I'm sure you guys already know if you watch us, it's water soluble, which means to distress it, I don't have to bust out any sandpaper and get sanding dust everywhere. I can just take a damp rag and pull the paint back. See the dark coming through? It was like this greenish color, but it was a distressed green and then it was kind of a rusty brown. So I don't know that it's gonna read as so much as green as it's just gonna look like a dark undercoat coming through. And it does get, um, like dark when it gets wet but then it lightens up so i will probably white wax this les says i make shabby chic skeleton lampshades yeah, those actually sell really well here i feel like they're really french country and they're a great way to like take an old vintage lampshade especially ones that get holes in them and they people think they're useless and i think they're so cute to like cut them up and then put them on there and get like have the light filter through but i always use an edison bulb because regular lights just too bright all right so i went and got a new transfer so we've got all the pieces and the tape's not cutting how i want it to uh cindy says just got my first can of diy paint goes on so easy it is awesome stuff marie knab said i saw that at the shop today so very cute you saw this it was in the back room how'd you get in the back room past the employees only sign all right, did you open that one? I did. I got it open. It's better if you use a damp rag because I always go through like 50 uh, Lysol wipes, especially if the paint's like all the way dry, which all this right. is. I'm going to have, can you do some scooching without dragging your chair and making a lot of noise? Oh, let me be, you want me to be like Ninja? Yeah. Oops. <laughs> Not so quiet. How about that? Is that okay? That worked. I just need a little extra room over here. I'm just gonna be over here wet distressing and reading comments. I'll use the Clorox. I'll show you a close-up of that mirror in just a minute. Oh, that's ringy. Oh, she saw the skeleton lampshade. I thought you were talking about this, Brie. I'm like, how'd you see this? Lauren had it in the back. Yep. There's one in the front room, and then there's a pair of skeleton lamps on the buffet. What is the best DIY paint color red for Valentine's Day projects? 
I would say marquee because carnival is a little bit bright and to me it's more like a orangey, orangey red and that's not my favorite found that one this day. Jen says, hi Marie, I'm jealous you were there today. Marie, did you see that big mirror from last week's haul that got put out on the floor? It looks super cool. So this Wendy's transfer's Day's got guys. a lot going on. It's a lot of oh, advertising. Yeah, I think I'm going to try to take that very bottom piece with the horse and the, is that a lion? <gasps> yeah, that's And put cool. that on there. Marie said she saw the giant lanterns. Yeah, this one's cool, and I feel like this, uh, how do I say it? Ephemera? Ephemera? Mm -hmm. Ephemera? Yeah. Whatever it's called. It's a lot of value for your money because it's the entire base of the transfer has stuff on it, like all the way to the edge. So you can cut it up and use it on a bunch of different projects. Okay, so. So you're going to cut out the specimen blends? I'm going to put the specimen blends on there too with okay. the, with the, well, maybe not. I'm going to go around. We'll get them. I'm going to get them out. Let me angle down. So, so Les see says, I use doing. ribbed cotton sheets, lace, and ribbons. Oh, on the skeleton shade, she ties them top and bottom. Yeah, I've seen that done. That's really, really cute. Lisa says, just a reminder, hit the like button. Thanks, Lisa. Okay. Okay, now you guys can see what we're doing a little more. How much is the transfer? I think the transfer this size is like 30 bucks. Yeah, this is a big it. sheet. But I think all the big ones and are And the dimensions price. are on the website, too, at jamierayvintage.com. Okay, I'm very carefully cutting this out because I don't want to lose some of the other stuff. I decided to not go with the specimen because that is a separate thing. Mandy says they're $60 in Australia. It's because they got to go all the way across the water. And I don't know how their the money converts from Australian money. I don't know what it's called for the U.S. dollars. Um, oh, Unveiling Providence says, speaking of the DIY paint, I had my three-year-old grandson help me paint a youth chair. I felt I felt it was safe and non-toxic. We had a blast. That is awesome. Yeah. And um, if you guys are wondering, the paint, the transfers, everything that we use, you can pick it up at jamierayvintage.com or you can come to our shop here in Lehigh and say hi. Or plant bar AZ and anthem. So there's lots of places you can grab your things. Um, let's see. I feel like I'm back in kindergarten. I'm having to cut out my ABCs. No, you're doing good. Just look at I'm me. even making the cut out your ABCs face. Oh, Mandy says that 60 Australian dollars is about 50 US dollars. Oh, those oh are Caitlin pricey. just dropped the link and it is 30 bucks. I was right. Good. I don't ship anymore, Ivy ships. So I don't see the prices. Like I used to see the prices because I would see the items all the time. And I just don't see them as much, so I don't remember. Jeff has good fine motor skills, he does. Do, do I ever mix the paint? I mix DIY paint all the time to make different colors. I love to take those bright colors and add white and tone them down because I'm a pastel girl. Um, how do we find out what a piece is worth after thrifting? Um, I Google it. Yeah, sometimes if it's like something we don't normally get or we're not sure of, like a, usually a five, ten minute Google search and you've, you've got like a hundred different things you can reference back to. Oh, do I ever stir the paint? DIY paint doesn't really separate, so I don't stir it. I mean, if it freezes, you might want to, but we don't recommend freezing it. Question, oh dear paint masters. <laughs> That's funny. Which paints to use for a creamy white non-chippy finish with gold metallic hand painted detail? And what do I seal it with? So a creamy white. Um, you could go with crinoline. That's like yellow. Or white swan to me is a creamy white because it's a warm white. Or if you're looking for like a grayish white, you could try uh, tarnished pearl. And then gold metallic hand painted detail. So you could either use gold acrylic or if you want a more sheer gold, you could use the DIY golden ticket. And then you could just seal it with either a clear wax or DIY's big top. I like clear wax because it's more matte. Um, but if you want something with a little bit of shine, big top's good. All right, sweetie, I need you to hold this right here like that for All me. Right. I'll show you guys in just a second. I can be second. torn away from my distressing. So I'm gonna try to line this up straight. I'm not gonna worry if it's centered. I'm gonna try to center it between top and bottom and line it up with this ring that's on the top here. Definitely on it. I just wiped it off. 
It's probably paint transfer from here. Yeah. It'll all be alright. Okay, I'm gonna hold it like this. I'm your handy dandy assistant. Just make sure it's not crooked. That's what I'm trying to do. The last time we used this transfer, you put it on a mirror and, and it was, it was crooked. crooked bad. I thought it wasn't, and then we got done and it was crooked. So this is kind of rounded, so I'm gonna have to kind of peel it off as I go. Oh, I need my stick. I put it back in there. Good thing we have extras. Hold on, we got a question. All right. You probably should have started on one side and rolled it over, maybe. I think that's how I got crooked the last time, so I'm gonna no. start from the center and work out. If I want to paint my kitchen table, I don't think it's solid wood because it's shiny. Do I need to use a primer? Um, if you're not gonna sand it, you might try a primer, and I can't remember what kind everybody uses these days. Or you uh, can just it. sand it and then paint it. I don't ever use primer, but I also don't paint kitchen tabletops. I only paint bases usually. So you could try a really good like oil-based primer underneath and then the DIY paint is a good option. Or lightly sand it and just straight up DIY paint, no primer. But no matter what you use, if you paint a kitchen tabletop, it will chip over time. It's just the nature of paint. And make sure you do not seal it with clear wax. Seal it with a liquid top coat like Big Top or Sweet Pickens Top Coat. Um, this is, you know, I, I always pick the live videos to do the especially difficult transfers on where they're like a round weird surface or something. Carson Millie says, she's talking about the IOD transfers because she sells them there too. She says they have to compensate for shipping. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. If you didn't compensate for how much it costs to get those transfers from the U.S. to Australia, you guys would be not making any profit. So for sure. I feel like if you carry these products in another country, it's kind of like when we are all excited to get something from Europe and we'll pay a little bit more because it has to come here. So it adds a little bit of value there. All right, and Sally says that Jack has my smile. Jack is my doppelganger. Like, if you look at baby pictures of me and baby pictures of Jack, we look the same. Oh, fun fact. It's been a hot minute since Jack's been in a video, but he makes a little cameo in the upcoming one because we were doing the project at home. Well, and Jack didn't want to talk on camera. I feel like no. he's shy now that he's gone to kindergarten. Well, he's gone to kindergarten. He's learned that he's not, like, the king of everything. Darn peers and kindergarten people. But, uh, you know, it's inevitable. He'll get it back. He's still pretty confident. So, Debbie says, I was watching another YouTuber. They were saying chippy furniture was on the way out. I'm like, it is only out maybe with some people, but not all. But here's the thing about us YouTubers. Just because we say it doesn't mean it's true. <laughs> Even if I say it. I mean, it's true to me. But I don't know exact percentages of the people that like stuff. I just know what I like, and that's what I always do. All right, um, if the transfer goes on crooked, can you reapply the same transfer? No. Nope. It's a one and done. Where you put it is where it goes. That's cool. I think that changes the whole look, don't you think? Hang on, I gotta burnish it. Go oh, where'd my little, I had a paper towel for dry. I'll show you guys in just a sec. I'm withholding it on purpose. Rose said, I sealed my wood table with wax. It was a poor decision with small children, but I love the distress it gets when they spill stuff on it. My kids distress stuff. That's why on, on tabletops, I never do wax. The other thing about wax is that it doesn't hold up the heat. So if you put a hot plate or a hot pot, it can melt that wax. So that's the other reason it's not good for table. What bonding primer do you use and sell? So I actually never use primer um, and I don't sell any primer. I lightly sand stuff if it's super slick and then I just paint it with DIY paint. I used to use a high bond primer from Fairy Chalk Butter, but I've since stopped using it and haven't really found a need for it. I'm keep hoping my, like crossing my fingers that DIY will come out with one. Um, what's the difference between old and new tarnished pearl? Um, so I can show you. Zeb, can you let me out? Let me out, let me out. We actually have a display in the store. Ow. Can you cut off that windowsill? It gets my bum every time I go past it. No, I can't cut it's it It's a sharp corner. Ow. Ouch. All right. So just completely changed the look of this plain old base planter jug thing. And I, when I was looking at it, I'm like, oh, I got it crooked again. But the design dips down a little farther on this side. So the line here is what's straight with kind of like this curve here. And it's a okay. All right. So this 
is the old tarnished pearl. Can you guys see the difference? And this is the new tarnished pearl. This is on our display. I had Lauren help me make it today. So you can kind of see the difference between the two colors. That will bring you in close. I'm gonna bring them farther out and readjust the camera again. Okay. And are you done distressing that? Because I told him I was gonna show them. Um, no, I'm not. Looks done. like you got distracted. So this is the old, this is the new. Old, new. The old is almost identical to crinoline, and the new is like a slightly grayish, creamy cream, like a tarnished pearl. Anyways. I feel like it does have some brown undertones too. If you come to the shop here, we have our, our uh, little cans labeled old and all right i can't all see right, what they're saying this. about this the people like it, it? It's not oh. liking this they said they love it it's perfect because even if it was factory labels aren't always straight jamie which child is most like zeb uh Roderick looks just like zeb's family Roderick. um could you stamp an item like the pot uh yeah but it's really slick so that stamp might slide yeah why did they change it they changed it because it wasn't the exact color that they had been wanting, so that's why they changed Tarnished Pearl. Everybody loves it. Are we going to film in Vegas? Absolutely. You know we are. Everywhere we can film in the Vegas market, we will be filming. So there are some restrictions, here. so we got to ask and make sure we have permission to film, which we usually do anyway. I mean, it's just a polite thing to do if you're going to film somewhere. Make sure that people are all right with you filming. Chris says it's perfect, no eye twitching. Yeah, all right, Chris, thank you. Everybody's just loving it, making sure. So I wanted to point out that whole huge transfer, I mean, that's like wide enough to fit on a door. Um, this is how much I used of it. So when you think 30 bucks, oh man, that's a lot. Think of all the different ways you can use it. Usually you get four or five projects out of them sometimes um, using different pieces and scraps and leftover ends and stuff. So I paid $5 for that and I'm gonna sell it for $19.95. And all I did, like literally, you saw how long that took. It might have to do. $2 worth of transfer on it. So I feel like that's, and it's not a lot of time involved either. All right, you can show yeah, them up done. close. I'm not quite done with this one yet. Okay. Donna had a question. Donna Martin, will a pint sized paint be enough for a medium sized kitchen hutch? Nope. You're going to want at least a quart. And if you're planing inside and outside, you might need two quarts. Hutches are notoriously big. So if you're just going to paint the outside, I would start with a quart, should get you there. Um, and then you're going to want the bigger wax because the small wax won't be quite enough. All right. Can I claim the clock? Oh, the croc. Aubrey, um, if you're interested in that croc, email lehighshop at jamierayvintage.com. Caitlin put that in the comments. And I always respond in order of who emails first. Just keeps it organized. Okay, so you can see here where it's dry. This is kind of going to be the finished look. We'll wax this and obviously give it a good scrub on the mirror. The mirror's yeah. a little dirty. It'll get more wet distressing and then clear and white wax, so it'll look really good. Yeah. All right, how much milk paint will I need for four chairs? I would say you're gonna need a quart. You'll have a little bit left over depending on the color, but about four yeah, chairs. That'll coverage. get you good coverage. And chairs are kind of like the hutches. They've got all those spindles and you gotta paint all around them and usually takes two or three coats, so. They take a lot more paint than you think just because it's just a little spindly chair. Dawn says she loves the new Tarnished Pearl. So if you order Tarnished Pearl from the website, you're going to be getting the new Tarnished Pearl. If you need the old one, we do have some in back stock that we've been hoarding. You just need to email Caitlin at customercare at jamierayvintage.com. So make sure you guys are hitting up jamierayvintage.com for the paint and products used today. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Bye, guys. We'll see you when we get back from Vegas. Watch out for the video on Monday. It's going to be good. Yeah, watch the video Tons on Monday. Tons of repair information. Zeb fixes my buying mishap on Monday. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.